Hey guys, today we'll be going over the AlgoPro V1.4. Now the V1.4 is kind of our all around trading tool uh, that can be customized for just um, different types of trading to fit your personal style from scalping to day trading to swing trading. Um, you can really customize it to do about uh, whatever you want. Now when you add the V1.4 to your chart, you'll notice a few things at first. So we have a few different dashboards here. We have a market overview dashboard here that lets you know the overall market sentiment um, and, and the current signals that the V1.4 are signaling. We have a confluence dashboard at the top that lets you know wh what types of technicals are supporting uh, a current signal uh, from the V1.4. And we also have our back testing dashboard here. Um, that tells you the overall uh, win rate of the different take profit levels for, for the different signals you're testing. And at the bottom here, you'll see this small dashboard that is showing you the settings that are currently being used uh, in the V1.4. Now we've added this because with the V1.4, we've added preset settings that you can use uh, for your trading. So if you hop in the settings here, you'll see right here under the trading strategy, we have preset settings and there's a drop down next to it. Now this gives you um, different presets you can use on different time frames that we recommend. Uh, so we're on the five minute on the Bitcoin here. So we've we've set uh, the V1.4 to use the universal five minute uh, strategy. And that'll show us the settings that those uh, that the universal five minute uses at the bottom here. If you want to plug those in and then customize it further uh, to your liking. Now, I'll see we have a few signals here. Now, with the V1.4, um, once it hits its highest take profit, um, it is allowed to enter another position if if the signals are still active. Now this will allow you to catch catch more of a move if you do trade with a take profit system as a lot of signal um, tools, they don't really use a take profit or stop loss system uh, and just use a, a buy to sell. And if they do use a take profit system, usually you'll hit that, that highest take profit and then uh, the price could continue running and, and you won't have another signal uh, for that entire move. By using multiple signals when they're still active, we're capturing more of that move and still minimizing our risk with a take profit and stop loss system. Now, if you do want to use more of a swing style or, or just a singular signal and take profit system, we've included that with the V1.4 as well. If you go to the settings here, you'll see two inputs, uh, one for alternate signals. Now, if you click that, you'll see that that won't allow the system to trigger another trade um, after uh, we've had one signal. So you can see on this cell where there was another cell down here after we hit the final take profit, um, it is not allowed to, to take any more positions after one signal. Um, that may clear out some false signals here and there, but overall you may miss out uh, on, on more of a trend if you do fully exit your position uh, at the top there. And if you prefer not to trade with a take profit system, you can uh, just click swing mode and that will just go from signal to signal and all of those will update uh, the, the back testing too to, to kind of show you uh, what kind of profits you're getting. So with all those modes you can really customize it to, to any trading style you want to use um, whether it be just looking for quick scalps, looking for bigger swings and bigger market moves. This The V1.4 really is an all-around uh, tool for any asset in any time frame. Now with our preset settings here, um, if you are using uh, one of the preset settings, anything that you change in these values will not be applied to your chart. If, if you wanna change these values and use uh, uh, your own inputs, make sure you have it set to manual. Uh, when it's set to manual, anything you change will be applied to the chart. Now with the V1.4, um, we've narrowed our algorithm down to just two sensitivities to make this much more user friendly and much more, um, a lot easier to customize to your personal trading style. Um, the main main thing you'll want to play around with is the sensitivity. That is the that's the greater reaction to price action and and market structure. Uh, that'll really change your signals more so than our the precision will. Um, you'd want to set these in first, and then after once you have your sensitivity set, then you'd want to start playing around with your precision to really fine tune it a little bit more. 
Our take profit and stop loss system is a dynamic system based on ATR. Um, so these will adapt to the volatility of price action um, to really, um, so if, if price action is ranging and there's not a lot of volatility, you're going to see smaller uh, take profit and stop loss zones and then vice versa for, for really volatile price action. You'll see those uh, take profit and stop loss zones widen quite a bit. Now for different assets and different time frames, you'll want to play around um, with the presets. Um, based on volatility, you'll see um, quite a different assets will perform better or worse for, for different um, time frame universal presets. So for instance, the five minute, um, you can see down here, we have a 65, 68 and 61% win rate for the, the first take profit. And then it relays for take profit two and three as well. Let's just see what happens if we change it to the one minute uh, preset just to see how that reacts. So you can see we've actually uh, increased take profit one, uh, two, and three quite a bit. Um, so you want to play around with the presets because some assets may be uh, more volatile and, and you'll want um, like a one minute strategy may may filter out a few more false signals because uh, our strategy based on the one minute is is designed for really volatile price action where price is super choppy. So we want to make the V1.4 as simple as we could um, while still letting it use our advanced algorithms. So by using these presets, um, it really helps to fine tune your strategy. Um, you could you could use a universal preset and see the the settings that are used. You could even input those and then slowly play with the settings based on those um, that you see in the dashboard to really fine tune it to how you want to trade. Now, alone from just the the back testing dashboard down here, we've also included a, a V1.4 bot version of this as well. Um, that is just the strategy version of our V1.4 indicator. So if you really want to fine tune it even more and back test um, the, the signals that way, that will allow you to get a more in-depth view uh, of what these signals perform on historical price action and what you should be looking for going forward as far as what time frame and asset you're trading. But again, the V1.4 is really just, uh, we want it to be a full all around trading toolkit uh, for any type of trading, swing trading, day trading, um, scalping on low time frames. We, we wanted to make it to where you could customize it exactly to how you want it to be used. And we wanted to include those presets to help you fine tune those time frames to what uh, we found has worked uh, really well. And with this back testing panel, you're able to tweak settings and see how it reacts to historical price, act, price action in real time. Um, so you can actually see if that strategy is something promising going forward. And we also have live alerts in our Discord um, that feature the V1.4 and the different presets it's using. So we have different channels for uh, stocks, crypto, futures, uh, Forex, and each alert uses um, the preset for that time frame. So we will have a five minute alert room uh, that uses the five minute universal preset. And the alerts from, from those settings are sent directly to our Discord Live, uh, which all of our VIP members get. And you can subscribe to um, uh, any channel you want, whether you're trading stocks or gold. Uh, we have a channel that relays those alerts uh, on different time frames from one hour to 15 minute to five minute. And, and those alerts are in real time. 